Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1 with the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Thanks for tuning in. In Hungary, 6,100,000 people have now received at least one coronavirus vaccine. And of that number, almost 2,800,000 have in fact gotten booster shots. The country is in week three of a nationwide vaccination drive where thousands of children aged between 12 and 17 will also get vaccinated. The head of infectology at the South Pest Central Hospital in the Hungarian capital, Dr. Janos Slavik, told public media's all-news TV channel M1 that those not vaccinated are in serious danger because they have a much greater chance of getting so sick that they would have to be admitted to hospital. France's president will be coming to Budapest next Monday. That's what the head of the Hungarian prime minister's press office announced. Bertalan Havasi said that Emmanuel Macron will be attending a summit of the leaders of the V4 countries that consist of Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary. Before that, he will be holding bilateral talks with Hungary's president, Janos Ader, and Prime Minister Viktor Orban. A learning research institute has been established at Hungary's largest private educational institution, the MCC, or Matthias Corvinus Collegium, in Budapest. That's what the president of the institute's board of trustees announced. Bolaj Orban pointed out that the goal is for the institute to become the most important educational research center in Central Europe. He added that the institute's vocational board wants to be made up of those from both within the college and from those outside who have extensive international experience. Well, people interested in training to become remote control operators for drones and analysts for drone data have until the end of January to apply. This unique program is arranged in cooperation between the Ministry of Innovation and Technology and the Seicheni Istvan University, which will now be the home of the drone laboratory at the school's newly established Digital Development Center. The remains of Hungary's first ever woman member of parliament have been reburied in her native country. They were flown in one month ago from the United States, where Margit Schlachte had sought refuge more than 70 years ago. Schlachte helped save the lives of thousands of Hungarian Jews during the Second World War and also rejected the ensuing communist takeover. Deputy Prime Minister Zsolt Semyén said at the reburial that Schlachte was a forerunner of the country's Catholic women's movement and that her name is synonymous with women's dignity and bravery. And that's all for now from the show. But you can always catch Hungary Reports live after the Hungarian language news at 11 p.m. Central European time, as well as in repeats and online. Thanks very much for watching and Mindanyot.